Okay, here's a quick video on how to set up uh, McAfee to uh, run with PC Tattletale. Uh, before we get started, I do want to tell you that out of all the uh, security softwares, uh, McAfee uh, is one of the tougher ones to uh, run with PC Tattletale. I'm going to show you how to do it anyways and it will work for you. Uh, but if you're going to use PC Tattletale uh, long term, I'd, uh, I'd really think about switching your security software over to uh, Norton. They have a uh, uh, simple one-click exclusion and once you do that, the, uh, the two programs work together just fine. Uh, McAfee doesn't, doesn't work that way, but I'm going to show you how to get it to work uh, anyways with PC Tattletale. So, uh, if you're here, you've probably tried to install PC Tattletale already and McAfee uh, probably tripped it up and it's not working for you. So I'm going to make the assumption that you've already done that. And so the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to come over to PC Tattletale to uh, this URL right here. So you're going to type into your browser and you can stop the video right now and write this down if you want. Uh, it's PCTattletale.com forward slash uh, the word redownload dot html just how I have it here <clears throat> when you get to this page the first thing we want you to do is we want you to run the PC Tattletale on installer and I'm gonna do that right now and what that does is it just uh, it cleans up uh, little pieces of PC Tattletale that are probably still on your computer uh, you'll get this uh, warning just don't worry about that you can just run the uninstaller here so it's gonna clean uh, all the pieces of PC Tattletale off your computer that um, are probably still sitting around uh, things that McAfee uh, broke and, uh, and didn't clean up. So we ran our uninstaller just like that. You can see it uninstalled successfully. It's like this. And the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into McAfee here and I'm going to go on to uh, change settings and I'm going to go into real-time scanning. And the real-time scanning is what what breaks PC Tattletale. So the second you download PC Tattletale and start installing it, the real-time scanning starts breaking PC Tattletale. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn off the real-time scanning so we can install PC Tattletale and then once it's installed we can turn it back on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off right here and it's going to give me a, a warning if I want to do it for 15 minutes or an hour. It's really your choice. I like to do it to when I restart my PC. So then I have as much time as possible to, uh, to get PC Tattletale installed and configured. And then when I restart my PC, uh, everything will work just fine. So I'm going to do this and turn it off. And when I do, uh, McAfee will eventually go all red and give me a bunch of warnings. That's what it's doing right now. So real-time scanning's off. That's the first thing we want to do. And then what we want to do is we want to come down to this features, viewer, and spyware protection. Okay. Now with McAfee, anytime you run a full system scan, it's still going to find PC Tattletale and break it. So what you need to know is we're going to turn the uh, scheduled scanning off. I'm going to do that right now and I'll explain why. So I'm going to take this and um, I could turn it off right here. It's set to go at every Thursday once a week. I'm just going to turn it off just like that. Okay. So now the scheduled scanning is turned off and the uh, real-time scanning is turned off. We're going to install PC Tattletale on the computer and when we restart it the real-time scanning is going to turn back on. All this red is going to go away and, and it'll work just fine unless the person you're watching decides for some silly reason to run a full system scan if they do that, just know it's going to break PC Tattletale. Um, you got to come back to the re-download page and just run through this process again. Uh, the good news is, is uh, if McAfee does break it, you'll still be able to view all the recordings up until the point where they uh, they ran the scan. So it's not the end of the world. So it's basically all you have to do to set it up. Um, I can close this, and we've already done step two. I've just explained you how to do that. And then what we'll do is just uh, just scroll down here and click download now. Yeah, this little warning there. Okay, and uh, we're gonna keep this. And once it downloads it, we can just start this up and uh, run it, no problem. 
So when I run this, I'm going to show you what a good installation looks like just so you can see because um, a lot of times when you run McAfee, uh, the, the installation, it'll just it'll just blow up. You'll never get anywhere. The installer starts up. You may get a few warnings from McAfee, um, but you never do get to see how a PC Tattletale is supposed to install. So we'll just uh, let it start up here. It's giving me a warning right there. I'm just going to hit next. Yes. And it's going to run through. And when it's done and it does everything correctly, I should see a uh, little screen pop up that asks me to agree to the license agreements. I shouldn't see uh, any warnings from McAfee now. That's, that's another thing that bothers me about McAfee is they don't tell you they're breaking PC Tattletale. They just go ahead and break it. So in any case, it looks like the installation went OK. Let's uh, give it just a second here. We should see a little black window pop up. There it is. It's setting up some Windows permissions so we can do our recording. And there you go. So once you're here, you know you have a good installation of PC Tattletale. You can just walk through and finish setting it up, and you should be all set to go. Thanks for watching the video.